Some of you may or may not know, but I'm a sucker for lamps. Uh, not so much for lamps for light or anything like that, but I just see things that I can do with lamps. There's a pair of these. These were big, heavy lamps. Uh, I started these a while back, and I ain't, uh, I'm going to, as you can see, it kind of looks like a vase now. I got to pour, uh, I've got to set these up here and pour some plaster in the bottom where I can close that. You can see that hole in there at the bottom. And that's going to be the bottom. It's going to be plaster. And then I'm going to coat the whole inside with a with a coating of uh, some kind. It's, uh, it's an acrylic clear coat or acrylic, but it waterproofs it. So you could put water in it if you wanted to. Uh, there's several things you could do with it, and this, and this one here, this is a lamp. I can't see me making a vase with it, but I'm. There's got to be something. I this thing is beautiful, and I bet you there's a light inside. I'll pick this up curbside somewhere. I might have made a video of it. Yeah, I can get, yeah, there's a light in there. See here, right there. <laughs> I, shit, I, I should have left the plug on that. I just cut it off. But, uh, I wonder how big the hole is in the, well, right there it is. Anyway, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that yet. I've got several lamps. Huh. I wish that was a clear, clear glass. No, I don't know what I'll do with that. But I'll bet y'all figure out something. Anyhow, I will try, this video is gonna be part one and the one where I'm gonna be finishing up and painting that and all that stuff and getting it coated and uh, I want to I want to hand paint these little designs in here um, I hope you can see that uh, but I see me having to clean this up and then spray paint the whole thing a solid color and then go in there and paint these little pieces that's gonna be some tedious painting and I was thinking about putting a copper band around the top and bending it over down in there or something like that. Well, I don't have that copper anymore. I sent that roll of copper to um, Chris and Holly. <laughs> Chris and Holly show. Now I could use it, but you know what? I can get some more. If I decide to do it that way. But if there's two of these, then there's a pink one you'll see uh, that I'm working on. But I, I, part two of this video, won't, I won't do it till um, uh, probably another couple of weeks I'll do it. I got some other stuff lined up. I'm trying to plan stuff and stick to the plan rather than be hopscotching all over the place. 
and I tomorrow I have got to get my butt out here you see that pile of stuff there I got to get it took and I got some under there I've got a lot of stuff that I need to take you know go ahead and microscope it down and I got something here I ain't never had before and that's a pressure washer that's a long heavy cord on that thing but I don't know what's going to be in there it's heavy so there's some kind of electric motor and pump I don't know what it'd be made out of but we'll see we'll see ah <sighs> Now I got to go do some editing. I've got, I've been started on it. Hey, Boo Boo. What you looking at, baby girl? Boo Boo. What you looking at, baby? Got to borrow my sister-in-law's weed eater and get this backyard cleaned up. This thing ain't been mowed. That hell ain't no grass. It's all weeds. Anyhow, that's the plan. The man with the plan, maybe. Man with the plan. Let's see. That battery is not charging. You know what? Let me try this other one. Let me see. It says it's charging, but it don't seem to be taking a damn charge. Uh, I have got so much stuff to do. All right, folks, let me sit down. You can take this to the bank. Tomorrow, I'm microscoping that stuff out there. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to do, well, uh, I may get on my scooter and ride over to Publix again and get me some coffee. The free cups. And sit over and shoot the bull with a couple of old guys. One of them is 95 years old. He's a World War II veteran. I know several World War II veterans. They say... They say, the statistics say that uh, out of 16 million World War II veterans, there's only about 250,000 left. And they're dying at the rate of approximately 300 a day. Uh, gosh, is that possible? If 10 in 10 days, that's 3,000. Uh, it might, but they're dying fast, you know. They're all getting up in age. Oh. Uh, yeah, they're getting old. I love talking to the World War II veterans. I had to... I had... When I was in the military... In 19, I went in in 1959, and I was deployed to Germany, and I met some World War II German uh, veterans, the enemy, 
and I was very good friends with one of them. His name was Walter Tashinsky. And he lost, let's see, which leg was it? I think it was his right leg. He lost it to machine gun fire. He said it was a 50 caliber machine gun that got him. An American got him. But he didn't seem... His daughter had to interpret for the most part for me and him because I couldn't speak good German and he couldn't speak good English. But his daughter, her name was Renata, uh, she interpreted and we talked about a lot of things. And uh, uh, But being as young as I was back then, I wasn't so much interested in World War II or anything about it. And now I, there's so much I would love to ask him. He's dead. Uh, you know, I, I, so many things I would like to ask him what was going through his mind and what it was like when they lost the war. Um, I don't know if he thought Hitler was a bad person or not. You know, I don't know. It just didn't occur to me to ask him that. But, uh, and the irony of the whole thing, he was a German soldier in World War II, and he's got one daughter that's married to somebody, I think, around Pensacola, Florida. He's got another daughter that's married to an American GI in uh, Memphis, Tennessee. He's got another daughter that's married was married to an, an American soldier, and they got divorced, but she is a chef for the officers. Uh, is it the... Anyway, she cooks for an officer's mess or something in, I think it's Fort Leonard Wood, that's Missouri. I, there's another base in in Kansas, but she 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 works for the American government. So that's kind of ironic, you know that that, uh, and she's got another brother that died about five years ago. Well, I sure did like them people. They, they they got sucked into a war. Got sucked into a war and and uh, it's simple for a government. I don't care what kind of government it is to suck you into something that they may tell you is right and turns out later it's not right. You know, um, but. I ain't getting into that. I ain't going on no more rants. I done been on rants for the last two days straight. I ain't going on no rant today. All right. Okay. These lamps, you find them plaster, they're easy to cut. But you make nice bases out of them, decorate them, and paint them up, and gold trim them, and all that good stuff. I've already cut one and right here.
And there you go. I need my cutters. Oh, I'll bet you they're way. Take that hardware off and that'll be junk. And So I'll set these down on and turn them up this way mix up some plaster first pour down in there and let it set and make that a solid bottom down there then I'm going to smooth all this out I haven't decided what kind of trim I'm going to put around this yet. I was really want to put a copper band around that. But I don't know. But this is going to have to be cleaned up. But also I'm going to have to coat the inside with I've been coating it with some clear coat. It's like a like a urethane sealer, the um, kind of uh, outdoor sealer, uh, which is pretty easy to do. You just you might have to do a little brushing around the edges, but you can turn this thing over like this and pull some in the bottom like that, and then rotate it around. That'll get all that good and coated even. So now I've got a pair of these things. Next step is going to be to clean these up, do the plaster of Paris, um, clean the outside, decide what where I'm going to paint, what kind of paint I'm going to use on it. But I was wanting to do some outlines on this stuff with gold paint. I would like a black background then with the gold around all these little uh, gosh I don't know what would you call that that's not a geometric pattern it looks kind of like Aztec or something doesn't it I think it does but you can see that's going to be a lot of hand painting but you know I'm thinking if I didn't keep these I could probably get if it's really done up nice, I could probably get sixty or seventy dollars a piece for these things, but maybe more than that. I'm gonna have to do a little research. I've never really cut none out like this before that just big. I've done some small ones, but I can't seem like it's harder to find the one just plaster for it's easier to do this stuff. But you can see in there it's it's pretty thick. This base is not plaster, it's ceramics. And I don't know if that can be cut or not. But I'm fixing to find out. This was a lamp too. I'm 
just gonna barely. You know what? Looked like it was gonna cut it to me. So I ain't gonna tempt it today. I'm gonna finish it tomorrow, but I'll be able to cut this sucker off right around there. I'll be very careful. I like this one because it's got that raised floor design on it and it's just a pretty makes a pretty base of course it's got a hole in the bottom so i'll have to seal that too i could probably do that with plaster but yeah i'll do this tomorrow <laughs> i can cut that sucker Looks like I was getting just a little bit off. It looks like I will be able to cut this ceramic lamp base to make a base, but I'm going to have to be very careful I don't want to crack it down here or anything but we'll see how it goes we'll see You know what? This damn thing was a base before it was a damn lamp. Damn, that had a nice edge on it. I wonder if I could touch that up some. Oh, God dog it. And that was a damn lid. Kissed my ass. Son of a bitch.
of a bitch. First time I run into something like this. Son of a bitch, that was a vase. And cutting into it, all I had to do was cut loose them down. I wanted for some way I could sand that thing smooth. That's gone.